So today I've been uh, working on my micro USB volume control and um, this has a 32U4 Atmel chip on which is uh, USB compatible and uh, if, if you sort of notice when I'm moving the volume knob that we've got this TX light here which is sent, just showing you sending information back to the PC and uh, originally I'd put a green LED on this and it was quite bright and it sort of bled through the board a bit and the sort of colour scheme um, that this is sort of blue and red although it has got an RGB LED on which has green on obviously but I'd, I'd only use the green for mixing for different colours so I thought well, I want to swap this for red really so as you can see I've already swapped it for red um, so I was thinking of a method that to, to take the other component off without damaging the tracks on this. Now this is a home etched PCB and uh, some of the tracks are quite delicate and it's not as robust as a manufactured PCB and I didn't really want to damage uh, the tracks or the surrounding components and the sort of usual method I've done in the past is use two soldering irons on either side of the component and then you'd heat up both pads and then just pick the um, with the both soldering irons you can just lift the component off unfortunately I'd lent the um, soldering iron out so I couldn't use that method so I was thinking how can I sort of make an adapter to do this and what I came up with was this spring which is made out of uh, mains cable like this, this is it stripped back and this is probably about a millimetre thick or something like that and the idea is that you just sort of wrap this round the soldering iron until you had something similar to this here and then you'd cut this off here and then you'd cut this here and then you can set the gap for the component size you're using. Now this one I've got here is set for sort of 1206 and although it's got two only two points on it does actually work quite well for taking off uh, some three-legged components like SOT 23's where you can heat uh, two of the legs down this side or down this side and the other one on the other side and there's uh, quite a bit of spring here so you can sort of press down on it and uh, get good thermal contact uh, this is um, just a HECO FX 888D uh, soldering iron and it's got pretty good thermal mass but it should work uh, well for most soldering irons so I took a bit of video anyway and uh, see what you think uh, I think it's quite a useful tip I might, may not be the uh, first person to come up with this but I haven't seen anything uh, similar to it before so I hope you enjoy the video